Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arnel and for today's video, we will discuss about problem number 4. If you're new here in my channel, please consider to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you would be updated with my upcoming videos. If you miss problem 1, 2, and 3, just check out the link in, on the description of this video for the complete list. Alright, the problem number 4, the requirement is what amount of current liabilities should be reported on December 31, 2020. So the statement date is December 31, 2020. Alright, company provide the following balances on December 31, 2020. Accounts payable of 2 million. Accounts payable is uh, considered as current liability because this is short-term obligation from your supplier for the purchase goods or and uh, services. Alright, so we will consider this as accounts uh, current liability. The second one is bonds payable of 3 million. Bonds payable it is due on 2021 do we need to include in current liability of course yes due date is december 31 this is the date uh it will be paid within 12 months from the statement date so it will be reclassified as current liability usually bonds payable is a long-term liability because the maturity of bonds payable is uh, more than one year so typically if the problem is silent it will be counted as non-current liability but this time the problem gave you a due date of uh, for the year 2021 and we are preparing our financial statement on 2020 so meaning you have to pay this liability uh, within 12 months from the statement date so we have to consider this as current liability all right Discounts on bonds payable, of course, this is uh, related to bonds payable June 2021. We have to uh, deduct only for the payment. So that is okay. Dividends payable, do we need to consider this as current liability? Of course, yes. We have to consider this as current liability. Because uh, dividends payable is uh, declared by the BOD to be paid to the shareholders for the given time. Let's say the BOD declared on uh, November 15 to be paid uh, to the custom to the uh, shareholder on um, let's say uh, January 15, 2021. So this is 2020. Okay. From the declaration of the BOD, we should consider we have to book here as current liability until the payment is made or uh, until the payment. Uh, release on January 15. So in uh, accounting, what is the entry here? You, we should uh, recognize the liability. So we have to debit retained earnings and credit dividends payable. And the uh, problem uh, asks you to prepare December 31, 2020. Okay. So in the middle, you have you are preparing the uh, financial statement. So from here, you have to consider what is the liability and this dividends are payable is still liability at this point. Of course, up to here until the payment is made on December, on January 15, 2021. So in here, what is the entry is you have to debit now that dividends payable and cash. So that is a uh, discuss in basic accounting or accounting one. Okay. So in this case, do we need to consider this as current liability? Of course, we have to consider. Okay, notes payable, uh, one million. So do we need to consider this as liability as current liability? Let's check out this due date. The due date mentioned it will due on 2022, and you are preparing December 31, 2020. So it's two years from the uh, maturing date. So we will not consider this as a current liability. Okay. However, some uh, notes payable are due in a staggered basis or installment basis. Let's say you have uh, this one million, but the problem uh, tell you that the first payment should be made on December 31, 2020, 2021, or 500,000, and the last payment is December 31. 2022 of 500,000 so in this case you have to consider this as current liability 
and this is non-current liability. So you have to reclassify only based on the requirement given in the problem. So in this case, the uh, notes payable is uh, maturing on one year only or one day. Uh, that is December 31. So we should not consider this as current liability. Rather, we have to record this as uh, non-current liability. But of course, at earnings interest, you have to pay the interest liability on this. And that is different case. Uh, interest is not discussed in this problem. But I'm sure notes payable or promissory notes uh, uh, bearing interest as well as the bonds payable. All right. So this is your current liability section of your balance sheet. So accounts payable of two million, bonds payable due on this uh, on uh, year 2021. We have to consider also, and we have to deduct. Uh, discounts on bonds payable and dividends payable as I mentioned we have to consider this because the dividends payable is not usually long uh, uh, more than 12 months from the de declaration date of the board of director so we should consider this as current liability okay notes payable since this is mentioned only or uh, uh, matured in one year only that is year 2022 we should not consider in this case okay so uh, your current liability should be uh, five million four hundred thousand double root this is your final answer and label it uh, current liability December 31, 2020. Alright. Thank you for watching. See you in, on uh, problem number 5. Bye-bye.